alert. Get to the importance of this drill is the staff and the students are doing what they have to do because if it is an actual incident, it's important for them to practice appropriately. Both the Office of Safe Schools as well as the School Resource Unit, our number one goal is safety of students and staff. We provide training, we provide education to the school sites as well as uh, school administrators and students. We have a team of eight and a sergeant and myself to cover a small city. And you can never imagine doing that, but that's what we do every day. I work side by side with Sergeant Brown and the whole school resource officer unit to ensure that we have a safe school as well as our other uh, district building. It is very positive for us as administrators in the role that we play to be able to have that line of communication with our school resource officers um, because in many cases we avoid situations before they occur. With the Office of Safe Schools and our SROs, we come into the schools and we make sure that we walk through these drills on the various campuses. We just want to make sure that they're prepared in the event that a critical incident or an emergency would happen on a school campus. We look at safety in a holistic approach. If something had been assessed earlier and resources provided, then potentially we could thwart a school shooting of, or someone hurting themselves or hurting other people. We do it through assessment and prevention. We do it through a comprehensive safe school plan. We do it with our emergency drills. We do it with our evaluation of our brick and mortar. It does take a team to make those decisions and practice performing our drills for uh, the event that we may need to use them. It has been very important that we have people that are expertise in different areas related to safety to help guide those practices. We tend to see other events throughout the nation. Uh, community members, school staff, students, they think that it can't happen here. And my message is, if it happens, we want to be prepared. It's important that law enforcement, they don't get complacent. And it's important that schools continue to train and get educated. Social media has brought us a lot of wonderful things in our lives. But at the same time, it's provided us with the anonymity of people that want to create havoc. We have to make sure that what we're going to put out is the best information that we have and that we're doing it in a unified voice with the police department or the sheriff's department. Communication is essential to safety. We're looking at the best ways to communicate quickly with parents, staff, and students. We're providing the highest quality of service that we can. Training is important. We train several times a year. And I'm talking about you know our law enforcement professionals that work in the schools, the office of safe schools, as well as the school sites. We train with our administrators, with our students. It's about training, 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 and getting better because we want folks to be ready in the event that an incident may occur on campus. The effect that we can have is amplified by the fact that we have such a great working team together. It's just important for the kids to know that we're here to support them, and part of this is doing the drills and uh, making sure that they're prepared for it. We also find it very valuable that our SROs are on campus, connecting with students and families, as well as our teachers and staff, so that our community builds that strong trust and relationship with our school resource officers. As a parent myself, a mother and a grandmother. School safety means everything to me. It's, it's my second passion in life after my years as a federal agent. And I go to sleep every night and wake up every morning thinking about school safety. I'm just proud of our team. It's a collaborative effort. And like my chief always says, together we are great.